Hi, this is Alex from Groovy Entertainment. Today we got another CD to play for you. Today's CD is Superman Story 22 from 1940. So let's get started. Presenting the transcription feature, Superman. Up in the sky, look, it's a bird, it's a plane, it's Superman. And now, Superman. As our story opens today, Clark Kent kisses his desk in the city room of his newspaper, putting the finishing touches on a follow-up story about the bursting of the great dam of Dyerville, a strange adventure in which Superman played a thrilling part. But already an even stranger adventure is at hand. Above the clatter of typewriters and newspapers, Kent hears the door of a private office open behind him. He half turns in his chair, just as Jay Hamlin, assistant to Editor White, calls him by name. Hey there, Clark Kent! Right here! Come in there with it. Close the door. This is something very special, Kent. And if Mr. White were here, I know that he'd want you to take it out. Oh, I don't think you know Miss Beecher, do you? No, I'm afraid I don't. Kelsey, this is Clark Kent. How do you do, Mr. Kent? What's the noise? Sit down, Kent. Pay close attention. You've heard of Dr. George Haven Beecher, haven't you? Explorer, scientist, archaeologist? Oh, yes, indeed. Well, Elsie's his daughter. Yes, I've known her since she was an infant. And her father is one of my closest friends. Now, here's the situation. Something mysterious and unusual has happened to Dr. Beach. But uh, suppose you tell the story, Elsie. Huh? It may sound a little silly to Mr. Kent. Oh, sure it won't. Go right ahead, Mr. Beecher. From the beginning, Elsie. Well, it's this way. Nine months ago, my father went into the jungle to search an earth. He supervised the excavation of some ancient tombs. He wrote to me regularly, and everything seemed to be quite all right. How often did you hear from him, Elsie? Oh, well, once a week. The last letter came two days before he sailed for home. In it, told me not to meet him at the boat. Strange. Did he give any reason? Well, none at all. He said he'd phone me. Did he? Yes, he did. Two hours after the boat docked. What did he say, Mr. Beecher? He said he was just... He sounded almost spooked. Like a man afraid of his life. Oh, now, you're just imagining things, Justin. If I know your father, and I do, he's never been afraid of anything. That's just what had me worried. That and the instructions he gave me. What were the instructions, Mr. Beecher? First, he told me that he couldn't see me for quite some time. That in itself isn't natural, Kent. Elsie and her father have always been devoted to one another. Uh, go on, Mr. He said he was going out to Brentwood for a while, but he had to be alone. Uh, did he say where in Brentwood, Miss Beecher? The stone tree. But he warned me not to try to communicate with him. He said he was quite well, and that he brought back a native servant to look out for him. A half-breed named Danger. You did try to call him, though, didn't you? I, I waited until yesterday. Then I, then I couldn't stand it any longer. Phone? Yes. There was no answer. That's queer. Your father was using the stone house in Brentwood as a hideaway. It seems to me he'd be there. That's just how I read it, Kent. Now, now you know why I'm so worried. Have you thought of notifying the Brentwood police? Oh, no, I didn't dare. Father despises publicity. He'd be furious with me. There's only one thing to do, Kent. You take Elsie to Brentwood and find out what's what. Oh, I'd be glad to. Let's see, it's... Uh, now, well, suppose we have dinner, Miss Beecham, and then drive out. I'd love to. Well, shall we leave now? We don't want to get out there too late. Well, I'm ready if you are. Let me know the moment you find out anything. Sure thing, Mr. Hamlet. Goodbye, Uncle Jay, and thanks a million. Forget it, and stop worrying. <laughs> Looks like a job for Superman. 
company smart using high-powered motors to do an iron vent, but not smart enough. Uh, get back out of the shrubbery and look around. Ah, here's the gate. That's probably electrified, too. Well, I'll just kick it in and drive the car right through. Nothing like arriving in style. Here goes. Hey, whoever built this gate certainly did want privacy. Well, he won't have it long. Tom Tom heralded the folks. What a 
that of his father not to be him. Is he or is he not safe behind the gray walls of Stone Town? Tune in next time and follow the exciting story of Superman. Up in the sky, look! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Superman is a copyrighted feature appearing in Action Comics magazine. So that was Superman Story 22 from 1940. So please like, subscribe, share, and comment, and have a groovy day. We'll have another video coming out real soon.